basically uh, VEC, the Valley Engineering Center, being the only Omani engineering, high-end engineering company, 100% indigenous, in uh, especially oil and gas in general, with its expertise in EOR, enhanced oil recovery, together with polymer, steam, solar. So that is an exciting ride for VEC since it started 2008. Now, 2013 today, we are 120 growing to 150. We came up with a program which we call it HDD, which is higher develop and uh, de uh, deploy. Uh, it's, a, it's a program of basically um, developing the Omani talent, uh, for whether it is a graduate engineers from degree side or diploma or lower. And uh, in a, in a not, nutshell, it's a mix. Being an Omani company, would like to, to participate more into solving the challenge of uh, the job seekers that our youth are looking for. VEC has taken the ownership of uh, getting those Omanis out of uh, job seeking and we tried the first batch, uh, was about 30 people and we put them in a training, internal training. We, first of all we employed them because it just removed the, the myth that they cannot be employed. So we employed them. Of course we shortlisted them from 120 to 30. Once we employed them uh, they were relaxed and focused on uh, their development with a career and so on. We put them in training. On the training side, uh, immediately they picked up. We got a, a tremendous support from PDO, especially from Raul Restucci, the managing director of PDO. So for me, that's the passion which I'm doing right now, just this HDD, high develop and deploy as a brand of uh, recruitment for money. Now, to answer your question about what is the future for VEC, VEC future is exciting with all these projects that are coming up and not just in Oman, in, uh, across the, the border. Uh, people start noticing VEC. Uh, I've been receiving calls from, uh, from the ministry as well. I've been meeting the, His Excellency uh, Dr. Rumhi. I've been meeting uh, His Excellency uh, Nasir Jashmi. And they all support it. So if, if we have those people, we have the client, uh, like uh, PDO, they're all happy. The future is bright for VEC. The in-country value, although it's a good initiative, but it's not well uh, articulated in terms of implementation. And to me, that is a, a big uh, risk for those people who said, all right, fine, we jump into ICV, put a factory over there, but yet they go and compete with the same price uh, against the international. It is going to be uh, attractive for sure, because with all these investments which are happening in the country, for sure in-country value will play a big, big factor. And this is a mandate driven all the way from top down to bottom of the industry. So it is there. So that's, that's to me is, the, is a major challenge in terms of investment in the products. Our biggest challenge uh, right now is value versus cost. The, the market is getting tighter and tighter in terms of cost. They're cost conscious. Uh, not price, because they end up paying more but they're driven by cost, so they end up awarding contracts at the lower rates, yet to complete the contract at a higher rate, a uh, higher price. It's easy to criticize or to say this, but in reality, what's the alternative? Single source negotiation never proven to be right, and there's no guarantee you're going to even meet the target. It's a challenge that um, really uh, I'm happy to hear whoever can solve that. Transparency, I haven't faced the major uh, issues of transparency from the major companies. Um, but when it comes to a, a sm a medium and smaller operators, it's not clear to us what sort of uh, tendering strategy or processes they follow. We don't know how they handle contracts. We don't know um, when they tender, how they tender, how they evaluate. Uh, now, I'm an advocate of openness as well. There's no reason why I shouldn't know uh, the process tendering, when the tender is coming, when it's going to be closed publicly. Be open so, you, so people can give you what you're looking for. Well, after the, what we hear in the news, uh, what's happening in uh, Iran, that's uh, great news uh, for the region. Uh, the the uh, shadow, or should I say, the, the, the clouds of uh, doubts uh, slowly uh, dissipating. That removes uh, a bit of, at least the hormones, the straight of hormones where Oman is close to.